Despite hearing some rumors that Jennifer Aniston invited her ex Brad Pitt over to self isolate with her during the pandemic, it's more likely that it's just her and her dogs at her LA mansion right now. Jen recently shared some sweet photos of her pups Clyde and Sophie relaxing on the sofa at home and you can bet they're all living in luxury right now. In this video we'll be taking a look at the actress's Bel Air Oasis she calls home and much more. Jennifer Aniston is an actress, film producer and businesswoman. She started out in Hollywood at a very young age but the role that really made her famous was of course being Rachel Green on the sitcom Friends. Honestly, I don't think I trust anyone who says they don't love or at least like the show Friends. It's classic. Her Rachel Green character became so widely popular it's described as one of the greatest female characters in American TV history. Not to mention, Jen has started numerous dramas and rom-coms over the years including the likes of The Breakup and Horrible Bosses. In 2019, she returned to TV producing and starring in the Apple Plus TV drama series The Morning Show. Of course, we could go on about her success but you get the idea. Considering Jen is one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, it's not surprising she's amassed a net worth of $200 million. With that, each mansion she's lived in looks more gorgeous than the last. It's been reported in the past that since Jen separated from her second husband Justin Thoreau, that she moved out of her home in Bel Air. However, I don't think that's the case. Despite the two even getting married there in 2015, it looks like Jen kept the estate and has been living there since 2011. Hey guys, it's Karen C. We're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we'll be looking at Jennifer Aniston's gorgeous home in Bel Air, Los Angeles and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Adam Sandler and Brad Pitt and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So Jen has admitted that this quarantine isn't as hard for her as some individuals and we know the beautiful mansion she lives in has to have something to do with this. She said on Jimmy Kimmel Live, I'm a born agoraphobe, this is kind of a dream. Not a dream, it's obviously a nightmare, but me personally, it's not been that much of a challenge. And I'll show you one of the reasons why, her house. Jen has been living in the 1970s style mega mansion with her two dogs following her split from Justin Thoreau. They bought the place back in 2011 for 21 million and since Jen has completely reimagined the home. In fact, her current house is the first huge solo renovation project she carried out. With the aim of creating a house that worked just as well as a zen like retreat as it does for entertaining. That being said, the value of the place has probably only gone up since. Located hillside in the elite neighborhood of Bel Air, Los Angeles, her mansion is fit for a movie star considering its amazing location and privacy. Bel Air is full of celebrity neighbors and situated in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains, right off of Sunset Boulevard. Jen's estate spans 8,500 square feet of living space and sits on about two glorious acres of land. Inside, you'll find four beds and 6.5 baths. From every large balcony in her house, you're able to take in the panoramic ocean and city views. Walking into Jen's mansion, you're greeted by an impressive 14-foot front door, leading into an airy entrance hall with sparkling chandelier and even an indoor koi pond. The koi pond is covered by a beautiful wooden bridge and leads into a more open space. It definitely has a zen-like feel and Bali vibes here. Jen is really proud of her home and collaborated with designer Stephen Shadley, who's helped her on previous houses, to transform the place into her perfect LA retreat. She's described her home as a big hug and stating she loves the silence there. Her designer Steven explained about her taste. Jen is drawn to wood, stone, and bronze materials that have real substance and depth. No matter how beautiful or glamorous something is, it has to be warm and inviting. One of Jen's favorite things about her home is the fact that it's the perfect place to hold gatherings and parties to entertain family and friends. Perhaps she isn't doing that at the moment, but after all the social distancing, she'll be back at it in no time, I'm sure. For that reason, she has a ton of beautifully designed common areas in her house. For instance, there's Jen's living room where she loves to unwind and has given us a glimpse on her Instagram. It offers a gray color palette throughout and the sofa has a silvery throw and pattern matching cushions. 
On our interview with Jimmy Kimmel last month, taken from In Her Home, we also saw the living room as a gold embroidered wall and a large cream armchair. She also has a photo shelf in this room. Jen's kitchen, where she says she spends a lot of her time, is a modern masterpiece with plenty of islands and cupboard space. Not to mention it's fit with a pizza oven and a wine room. Guests usually gather in the large game room where you can see Jen's vintage pool overlooking LA, so it has a bit of an indoor-outdoor vibe here. The interior of her home definitely lets in a lot of light with floor-to-ceiling windows and a modern open design for the most part. Jen's mansion actually offers two separate living wings, so there's a lot of room to roam. Other features to keep her entertained include the home movie theater, her home office, and the large outdoor swimming pool. There's also an additional guest house. She's changed a lot about the home since the breakup, but it's still elegant as ever. Jen's master suite may now even be the feature of the mansion, and it sits at the end of a long hallway. Room offers a large platform bed with motorized TV at the end and opens up to a private garden terrace with outdoor seating area, perfect to relax and take in the views of the hills. Of course, she has a spa-like style master bathroom with a marble tub and features, and she shared this before on Instagram. Jen has more than one impressive closet at her home. Her massive walk-in attached to her room is almost the size of a studio apartment and has been shown in snaps posted to her stylist team's social media accounts. We also caught a peek during a self-isolation video call she had with Ellen DeGeneres. Jen's closet is more like a dressing room and there's even space for a catwalk when she tries on her outfit. She has three huge floor-to-ceiling wardrobes full of well-organized clothing and accessories, as well as a vanity table for hair and makeup. When her and Justin were still living together, he even told Ryan Seacrest she turned the garage of the home into a closet as well, explaining, We have made an extension on our house. I don't know what was made into what, but we found more room to create a better bathroom and a closet. Throughout the home, there are also plenty of walkout terraces and balconies, like the one Jen has posted photos of surrounded by glass railings. On the surrounding grounds of Jen's mansion, there's an outdoor cabana with fireplace and lounge chairs, as well as the large pool I previously mentioned that has a tanning deck attached. Her huge garden has Buddhist statues and beautiful landscaping, making it perfect for a peaceful stroll. The property used to have a hillside vineyard, but Jen's garden designer and architect wanted it to instead be an oasis consisting of terraces, like Asian-inspired pocket gardens and interconnected rooms. Jen has perfect privacy at her estate as well, thanks to tall wooden fence and surroundings surrounding gate. Prior to Jen's Bel Air estate, she called many California mansions home, each one more beautiful than the last it seems. She's owned places in Malibu, Beverly Hills, and more. One of the homes she owned way back with ex Brad Pitt was actually on the market not long ago, and it's gotta be one of my faves. Back in 2001, Jen and Brad bought this mansion for over $13 million, located in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, and when it was put on the market, the price had increased over the years to over $44 million. The French Normandy Revival-style mansion span a massive 12,000 square feet of living space with four beds and 12 baths in the main house and an additional guest house with bedroom. The estate was super elegant and not to mention private. There were two separate gated entrances to the home on different streets, which isn't surprising since the land covered over 1.2 acres. Jen's previous home had a light-filled living room with floor-to-ceiling windows, a gourmet eating kitchen, and dining room that fit up to 20. Other features included a home gym, a large private screening room, and even a pub room with floors from a 200-year-old French chateau. There's a lower level bar, sitting room, and great room with windows and French doors that open up to the patio. On the rounds outside, you'll find plenty of space to dine and entertain, a huge swimming pool, outdoor fireplace, and a newly added tennis court. After seeing Miss Aniston's Bel Air Oasis and glimpse into one of her previous homes, what did you think? Seems to me that Jen really loves and takes care of her current mansion and loves nothing more but to spend her downtime relaxing there with her dogs. She also put a lot of effort into making the design exactly her vision, that's for sure. Okay guys, and now I'll read out a couple comments from previous videos. On our recent Drake Who Dated Who, Kiki Alexander wrote, I love your videos, amazing investigation. I don't know if you've done this yet, but a dating history on a Kardashian-Jenner would be cool. Thanks Kiki, I have fun doing these dating videos, so if you guys are interested in me keeping them up, be sure to let me know. Then I'll do all the celebrity pics you want. And on our Brad Pitt house tour, Dragonfly69 
9908 commented saying, I have always liked Brad. He is pleasant and unassuming and not showy. Agreed. I love that about him too. All right, guys, that's all I got on Jennifer Aniston, aka the legendary Rachel Green's homes. Like her $21 million Bel Air estate she's been calling home for some years now. I love her current place, but I may even like that one she used to own with Brad even more. Something about the French kind of Tudor looking style. Anyways, I want to hear from you guys. What did you guys think about her mansion? Did you like it or no? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!